What's up, best friends? My name is Brian Deach, and today we're gonna to talk about why the Branch Light Cafe with Zscatter is far superior than the legacy approach with branches. Let's jump right into it to see the pain points. So using the power of fast forwarding and editing, let's uh, stand up the legacy stuff that we have over here. So there are three ingredients. First and foremost, we have the branch, factory, whatever you wanna call it. We have the data center as well, where our applications live. We have the internet, SaaS, private cloud, Azure, AWS, GCP, ServiceNow, M365, whatever you wanna call it. And when we have these two different type of networks, we have to connect them together back in the day. And that tool of choice was like MPLS or SD-WAN. Now that you have them connected, now they're kind of like the simplicity trust, which means you have to deploy firewalls. So you have firewalls at the data center, you have firewalls at the branch, all different sizes, small, medium, and large. Then of course you deploy VLANs and NACs. And don't forget about your applications. We call them applications one, two, and three. Your users back over at the branch office, heck, IOT, OT. And when we look at this design, back in the day, everything kind of at the branch and the data center, but kind of quote unquote trusted kind of a network, you're kind of securing it. And then everything outside of that was untrusted. And we were doing this because we had to backhaul traffic from the branch to the data center to go out to the internet. It's anti-cloud at best. And of course, you had to contend with lateral threat movements and ransomware. So what did you do? You had to deploy VLANs, you had to deploy NAC. Those things are complex and expensive. Looking at this archaic design, I see four fundamental flaws. The first one's gonna be related to the business. If the business turns to you and says, we need to stand up a new site and have to gather up all this stuff, it's gonna take you months, if not longer, to get that deployed. The business wants stuff done today, not tomorrow. The second fundamental flaw I see right here is around implicit trust. Let me explain. You have SD-WAN, you have MPLS, and the idea is these things allow these two networks to kind of talk to each other, which is great until it's not. Because the second this user gets popped like a due date, SD-WAN enables lateral threat movement and ransomware. What do I mean by that? It's not contained right here. It's everything over here and all the other branch offices that could be compromised as well. And number three, you've deployed firewalls. That seemed like a great idea on paper until you realize that that firewall has an IP address and that IP address becomes an attack surface. And the idea here is simple. If it's reachable, it's breachable. And it brings me into my fourth bullet point, which is around the operational complexity of all this nonsense and the cost. Whether it's firewall licensing, expensive routers, you have all of these things to contend with patches, maintenance, and upgrades. You'll be looking at this design thing that maybe Frank Gehry put it together. I look at this and I think it's just like a gas station bathroom floor. It is disgusting. And I think there is a more appropriate way to tackle this problem. Let's see how Zscar does it with the Branch Light Cafe. With the Zero Trust Branch, you don't extend the network to every branch. Simply just forward traffic to Zscar over any broadband connection. The Zero Trust branch helps eliminate all of the challenges of that legacy architecture. I call it lawn care because we're cutting that grass. Let me explain. If the business comes to you and says, hey, we need to stand up a new branch site, the only thing you need to do and worry about is like 5G connection or broadband, you're ready to rock and roll. Number two, there is no idea of like this implicit trust, right? In fact, with Zscare, you get like auto segmentation between your user, IoT, and OT networks. It's like you're putting them onto guest networks. You're not connecting these two things together whatsoever. And when you look at the zero trust exchange, business and security policies are enforced based upon the identity or the workload. Network in this scenario is purely transport. And number four, connections are made to applications, not to the network. We're connecting entity A to entity B and then securing the connection. And last but not least, since all of your traffic or a majority of it is always going directly out to the cloud, 
you're going to get a better overall user experience as opposed to backhauling it all the way over here. So four things I want you to remember about the Zero Trust branch powered by Zscaler. If the business says we need to stand up a new site, gone are the days of having to take months or longer. The only thing you'll need to have to stand this up is just a broadband connection or 5G. You're good to go. Number two, we're here to minimize your attack surface. And what I mean by that is all of your branch offices will be hidden back behind the Zero Trust Exchange. There is no inbound connectivity going on right here from like the anonymous internet. Attack surface, gone missing, you gone fishing. Number three, we want to completely eliminate lateral threat movement and ransomware in your environment. Remember, there is no static implicit connection between here. Can contain that to a very small isolated island. And last but not least, cost and complexity. Gone are the days of having to worry about these firewalls and VLANs and all the stuff that kind of associated with that, right? It's an operational nightmare. With Zscare, we're responsible for patches, maintenance, upgrades, and scale events. So with that said, that's my time. Thank you for watching. Please do me a favor, like, subscribe, share with a friend, and I look forward to seeing you at RSA. Thank you.